hello great people welcome back to our channel we are so excited to have you again the envoy of canada uk united states of america republic of ireland and european union together unanimously had sent out their displeasure over uh, the attitude of the government towards banning the use of twitter a social media platform in the country and uh, it wasn't so partible to the government of the day. And because of that, the Minister of Foreign Affairs, talking about Geoffrey Oyema, had to convene a meeting for all of them, considering the level of partnership existing between these countries and Nigeria. And the meeting lasted for quite a while. But right now, the um, communique of the meeting is out and uh, you I know that right now even Nigerian government is shocked the response that they had to give concerning um, the statement that they offer we, we are going to check out if they have changed their position or they still stand by what they say that it was really against fundamental human rights of Nigerians but before we do all of that, before we listen to the news, if you're not subscribed, just hit the red subscribe button and also the bell icon so that you can get notification anytime we publish our videos. All right, let's listen to the news. The invoice of the United States, United Kingdom, Canada, the Republic of Ireland and the European Union in Nigeria on Monday insisted that the suspension of Twitter in the West African nation is a violation of freedom of expression. The ambassador stated these at a meeting with the Nigerian Minister of Foreign Affairs, Geoffrey Oyema, in Abuja today. The minister had invited the ambassadors to the meeting over their recent comments on the suspension of the microblogging site in Nigeria. The Pontius area reported that in a joint statement on Saturday, Canada, EU, UK, US, and the Republic of Ireland said banning system of expression is not the way forward. The statement partly reads, The diplomatic mission of Canada, the European Union delegation to Nigeria, the Republic of Ireland, the United Kingdom, and the United States of America convey our disappointment over the government of Nigeria's announcement suspending hashtag Twitter and proposing registration requirement for other social media. We strongly support the fundamental human right of free expression and access to information as a pillar of democracy in Nigeria as around the world and these rights apply online as well as offline. Burning Systems of expression is not the answer. These measures inhibit access to information and comments and comments at precisely the moment when Nigeria needs to foster inclusive dialogue and expression of opinion as well as share vital information in, in this time of COVID-19 pandemic. Speaking on behalf of the five convoy at the closed door meeting with Onyema on Monday, U.S. Ambassador to Nigeria Mary Beth Leonard maintained the, the, the earlier position of the five ambassadors that the ban on Twitter by the Nigerian government violates freedom of expression of Nigerians irrespective of the concern by the government that the platform was being used to perpetuate hate speech and criminality. We recognize the official position of the Nigerian government on the responsible use of social media, but we remain firm in our position that free access to information is very important and perhaps more important during troubled times, she said. We are here as partners and we want to see Nigeria succeed. It's very clear that we are Nigeria's strongest partner on issues of security and we recognize the daunting time. Sorry, I'll take that again. I said we are here as partners and we want to see Nigeria succeed it's very clear that we are nigeria's strongest partners on issues of security and we recognize the daunting times in the way of the security challenges that confront nigeria while they are daunting they are not insurmountable and part of the way to surmount them is the partnership of the people you see represented here the envoys were optimistic about the federal government reaching a common ground as it was locked in a discussion 
with Twitter. Onyema also confirmed that the Nigerian government was in dialogue with Twitter on the best way to resolve the matter. He told the invoice that the Nigerian government is not against the use of social media but wants to see it used for global good and responsible communications. He said, and I quote, we know the power of words and when you have that kind of power to manage and facilitate communication to billions of people, it has to come with responsibility. So we are taking this measure to see to that to what extent we can rebalance this media as forces of good and stop them from being used as a platform to, for destabilization and facilitation of criminality. Twitter has deleted a controversial civil war post by the Nigerian President Major General Muhammad Buhari. The government subsequently banned the platform, citing the persistent use of the platform for activities that are capable of undermining Nigeria's corporate existence. Though mobile operators have blocked these customers in the country from using Twitters, Twitter, many Nigerians have switched to the use of virtual private network to bypass the blockage. Nigeria Attorney General of the Federation of Minister of Justice, Abuba Kamalami, senior advocate of Nigeria, had also ordered the director of public prosecution of the Federation to prosecute offenders contravening the government Twitter ban. Nigeria, with over 200 million people, had about 3 million active social media users as of January 2021. WhatsApp is the most popular platform used in the country, with over 90 million users, according to statistics. Also, according to statistics, about 61.4% of Nigerian social media users use Twitter 82.2%, use Facebook 81.6%, use YouTube 73.1%, use Instagram and 67.2% use Facebook Messenger. Wow, this is a serious issue here, I tell you. But uh, let the truth be told, um, whether you like it or not, people must crave for information. I was so sure that the envoy from all this country who unanimously agreed that burning Twitter was a step in the wrong direction for the federal government, that it was a way of, uh, you know, going against the fundamental human right of Nigerians. I was so sure they were not going to change their mind because in their individual countries, they know the importance of information dissemination. Most of the changes that we have had thus far in our country and most of the global business relationship that most people have created is always via this social media platform. I know of a lot of things that have been corrected and a lot of things that have been handled security-wise via Twitter. I could still remember far back, it's for some of us who are very you know, good users of this platform, I could still remember at one point that the um, a case of a young lady who was unfortunately being taken advantage of by jobs um, givers, and uh, though she was killed, but the culprits were arrested and all of that was equal to information in social media you you can you cannot bring down the importance you cannot talk less of the importance of you know social media this is information age this is the time that everything go digital so there's no way that they can queue up behind the federal government in this respect i, I feel that all these things will never be issues because if you look at other countries of the world this same social media is being used and it has never brought any issue the the the, the issue right now that we are currently facing is that the people in power are not doing what they are supposed to do and they are angry that nigerians are talking about it globally you understand and that's not the way out if they, they manifesto uh, that's manifesto um goals that you told nigerians you are going to deliver at the end of the day was delivered today we would have been using twitter to celebrate it you understand we would have been using all the social media so the best thing is to look inwards see how you can you know do the right thing and then nigerians will celebrate you I'd like to leave it there. Go to our comment section. Let's interact. Now that these five countries, United States of America, Britain, UK, Republic of Ireland, and European Union have congratulated their position on Twitter ban. That's, that's on the fundamental human rights of Nigerians. What's your...